guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods on Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.9.5 on Android. So I had to redo this video because uh, the video I made before I used the app Mods for PE2 to get the mods downloaded and that kind of stuff. And unfortunately that app is having issues because every single mod you try to download will just result in a download failed. And you can't get mods anymore which is pretty irritating. So I'm going to be making this video using the app that I made, which is called MCPE Mod Locator, and uh, that's how you can get the mods and then use Block Launcher to apply, apply them, so I'm going to be showing you that. So uh, down in the description there is a link for the app, it's uh, my app, the Dogger2011 app, I guess. Um, so uh, that app has all the tools you need and some other cool stuff for Minecraft, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up right here. Be taken to a page like this with a cheesy welcome screen, and just click on the top button here, which is MCPE Downloads. So here you have uh, you can download Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.9.5, Block Launcher Pro 1.7.9. Uh, so what you're going to need to do is get Block Launcher Pro 1.7.9, which is that link right there, and oops, go back. There we go, uh, and MCPE Mod Locator, which this is actually a Play Store link. So uh, that will go up onto the play that'll take you to the play store which you can download it from there and you'll get an icon like this for mcpe mod locator and for block launcher pro you'll get one like that so what you need to do right now is open up mcpe mod locator uh, click the top button which is mods hit patches then use the select the version you're using the only ones that are supported are 0 0.9.4 and 0 0.9.5 um, I use 0.9.5 because that is the latest as of this video and scrolling through here you can see there are all the mods there's even a download all button so uh, I'm just gonna click on this top one here uh, 255 server slots actually that's not a great one because I can't demonstrate it but oh well uh, I can apply it so open up block launcher now and it'll be taken to a screen like this it's actually just the minecraft screen uh, you might get a weird texture pack but I do have a video on how to uh, how to fix that but um uh, click the top wrench up here. It might be difficult to see, it depends, but uh, click on that and then click on patch mods in game. And you can see that server 255 or the uh, 255 server slots mod is there or whatever mod you downloaded. So just click on it, hit enable, and now the mod is applied and you can go ahead and use it. And Minecraft, like, uh, will, it'll just work normally except for that part right there. Uh, Block Launcher has been a little stupid lately. Uh, might have some issues, and I am aware that there are a few mods that aren't working correctly. Um, that is, I mean, well, I'm, it's just because they're not updated correctly, because I don't actually make the mods myself. They're from different developers, and I add them in my app, so if you didn't know that. But yeah, there are a few mods that don't work, but if you want, you can look through MCPE Mod Locator. There's a lot of different mods, texture packs, maps, uh, that kind of stuff in the app that you can check out. So uh, yeah, that's how you install it without, or get mods without, uh, mods for PE2. That app is, just, I don't know what's going on with it right now, but it isn't uh, working correctly whatsoever. So it looks like we're just going to have to keep using MCB Mod Locator, which I'm going to be honest, I'm not too sad about because it's my app, so I feel pretty special. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, like I said, what you got to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.